All right, hello everyone. It's Team Rocket Draws here with another Pokemon drawing tutorial. And before we get started, I just want to show this Vaporeon by Neo. Um, she's an awesome drawer, as you guys can see here. I don't know if she followed my tutorial or this is her drawing, uh, but if you guys haven't seen my um, Vaporeon tutorial, make sure to go check it out. I think it's actually my most popular evolution, so make sure to go check them out. Uh, but yeah, so uh, thank you, Neo, for sharing your drawing with me on Twitter. Um, you're an awesome drawer. All right, so now to get started, guys, we are gonna be drawing Lidden, as you guys can see on screen. This is how he ends up looking like. So if you guys wanna learn how to draw him, uh, let's get started. I'm also gonna put up a reference right now on screen that was easier for you guys to draw, and you guys can get all your details. All right, so first of all, we're just gonna start by doing this circle. Where remember, when it's, we are gonna start off by doing a sketch, and then from there on, you guys are gonna do your final drawing. So remember not to press it hard on your pencil. Uh, that way, we can erase all these lines. So we're just gonna do a circle and then we're gonna split it both ways in the right in the middle and try to get this as perfect as you can guys because if you guys don't then it's gonna be a little bit hard to follow uh, the tutorial and as you guys can see right here it's not perfect but it's alright you know um, so yeah so those are just reference lines we're gonna do a lot of those so make sure to uh, uh, not get confused alright so now a little bit to the right of that uh, we're gonna do this line which is gonna be basically uh, one of the ears now the ear comes from the side right here and it just curves in a little bit if you guys look at the reference you guys will know what I mean and there we go and he doesn't end up looking like the reference 100% guys uh, but we do end up pretty close now over here on the other side around the same um, the same distance from the middle we're gonna do the other year but right there I just do a reference line on top uh, just to show you guys you know like it can help you guys um, do the other year knowing that it, it doesn't go higher than that they're basically on the same level um, that's why I do reference lines like that just to show you guys alright so now on this side on the left side it's, it's more of a straight line than anything uh, so you guys can cut the circle a little bit and then just continue that line up there we go it's basically like a straight line up and then you guys to just connect it to the other year and as you guys see um, I wasn't right on on that side of the ear so I erased the other line that we did before and I uh, just try to make the ears the same size if you guys know what I mean like uh, they're not the same um, for example right here the one I did on the right is a little bit smaller so that's why I go back and I change it a little bit you know I'm trying to make them as close as I can to um, to the size although the one on the left looks a little bit bigger since it is showing a little bit more of the side alright so just by having that we can see a cat already uh, so I think we're pretty fine right there so now I just do a reference line uh, going top of the head um, and that's just gonna help us do the body a little bit so now around here we're just gonna once again it's just a reference line so basically around here um, a little bit higher of the than the head uh, we're gonna do this line you guys don't have to do those reference lines it's just to uh, um, that's only if it, it'll help you you know so we're just gonna do that for the tail and then we're just gonna continue this for the for the back and it goes around there all right so now we're gonna do another reference line going in the middle just follow that line and this is just gonna help us know where to start the leg this one right here so you just look at the distance the how far it is and just try to get this at the right angle just look at the gap between that line and the head and I, I gotta say it goes about halfway, half of the circle, half of the head as I point out right there. A little bit lower than that. You guys could do another reference line and that's just gonna help us know how far to do the the leg. So we could just extend the, the line from the circle uh, just to know where to place this leg because it just helps us, you know. It doesn't go um, too much into the middle right there. As you guys can see, there's a small gap in between that and the middle of the circle. All these reference lines, guys, it's just to help us get a little bit more proportional, a little bit more accurate to the reference. Although it's not going to be 100%, but it just makes it a little bit easy. Uh, you guys can follow all those uh, reference lines. You guys don't have to, uh, but it, it could help you guys. So now we're just going to do this little line. As you guys can see, it doesn't uh, go that uh, lower than that middle line going across the head. And now we're going to do another reference line right there at the bottom of the head. And that's just going to help us uh, place this leg right here because it basically is on the same level. And then this is a leg that gives me a hard time just because it's, it has an awkward shape uh, right here. So it might take you guys a little bit to uh, 
So when I was drying it, I basically noticed that this part is pretty much round. And then the other part that sticks out, when the leg sticks out, it's a little bit more straight. If you guys look at the reference, you guys might see what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I noticed. So maybe you guys could do that too and it could help you guys out. And this is my first time drawing lid in. A uh, lid tin, believe it or not. Um, so... So right there, I'm just showing you guys that it roughly uh, lines up with the tail right there. It doesn't have to, but it, if you guys look at the reference, it should basically line up right there. Uh, you guys could change it to make it look like that, or you guys could just uh, let it go. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. All right, so now this leg, we could just do it right there. And right here, I actually make it I make it stick. Uh, I can't even talk, guys. Right there, I make it a little bit higher than it should. If you guys look at the reference, the two paws basically touch. So right here on my sketch, they're not touching. I do change that later on once I do my final drawing. Uh, but it's just a small thing. All right, so now for the tail, we can just continue the tail. Right here, I actually make it really long. Um, right there, I curve it too high. Uh, too high. If you guys look at the reference, the tail starts to curve um, right before it, the top of the ear. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but basically, um, it should start curving uh, before that line that we did across the ears. Right there, I made it above the ear, so that's why it looks a little bit weird. But remember, it doesn't have to be the same. Uh, you guys could do it any uh, way you guys want. You guys could even curve it a different way. It doesn't really matter. Um, and right here, the tail is a little bit thinner than the leg, so that's something that maybe you guys might uh, want to look at. And uh, right here, I actually do the tail too long. Uh, another thing that I did wrong that I do change later on. I mean, it's not wrong because it's not like a big change, uh, but it's just something that I do change later on that I'm just uh, letting you guys know. And the tail right here is a little bit complicated for some reason. It kind of looks like Patrick like doing like, I don't know, like dancing. The two, the top uh, triangle shape being his head, the two on the side of being his arms, and then the one that's sticking out on the left side is like one of his legs. I don't know, like he's dancing or something. I don't know if you guys see that, but I just couldn't help but see that when I was drawing it. All right, so now a little bit lower than the middle right there, we're just gonna do this triangle shape right there. It sticks out a little bit uh, to the left of the middle line going down. And uh, we're just gonna do another line that connects to around there. So it doesn't connect to the side of the head, so that's something that you guys might want to pay attention to. Um, and this one actually goes a little bit higher, um, and it goes a little bit further than the middle of the middle, if that makes sense. And then we could just connect it, and it goes to around there, and it kind of makes this like a curved triangle shape in a way. And now we're just going to extend that line a little bit higher. And as you guys can see, it's a little bit to the left of the middle line. And then this one doesn't go as far as the first one. And then it curves back in. And this one's a little bit thinner than the first one. Not by much, but it is. Uh, right here, I made my weight thinner. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So now, um, right there, I made it too far, too much to the left. So I erase it. Cleaning it up, uh, clean it up a little bit, and now we're just gonna do the top right there. And this one, the one on the right, is basically a straight line going up. Um, so right here, just finish it, connect it, just to make this shape, and it just makes it a lot easier to do the rest of the uh, forehead right there. So I recommend you guys doing this. So now we could, we know where to start the other line. So now we can just connect it, try to follow the other, uh, the same level as the other side. We could even connect the the shape too like I do here. So now there's the top. If you guys notice, I just make another shape. It just makes it a little bit easier. And I do uh, uh, work on this a little bit once I do my final drawing, since this is a sketch, you know, it looks a little bit weird. It's a little bit off, um, if you guys haven't noticed. So I do change this in uh, one, on my final drawing, but it's not a big change, guys. All right, so now we just erase those lines that are connecting it, and it basically gives us that shape. All right, so now around here, we're gonna do this line. It's a little bit lower than that. Just do a straight line. We're gonna do another one the other side. This one goes further than that, uh, than, than the forehead. And if you guys notice, that one's a lot longer than the one on the left. So now we're just gonna do this eye right here. So we're just gonna do basically like a, huh, I don't know what shape that is. Like a diglet, upside down diglet. That's a perfect. <laughs> as a perfect way to explain it an upside down diglet and it's not the same but I always have trouble with eyes so I just basically leave it like that 
Now on the other side, the other side it gets really close to the uh, to the side of the head and right here you guys could do a reference line going across the bottom just to help you uh, place the other eye. It just helps us know where to stop, you know, how far to go in. And this one gets pretty close to the side of the head but it doesn't um, touch. I just try to do the same shape. And we basically have the eyes. Alright, so now for the eye. So the eye, there's a small gap in between the eye and the side of the eye, if that makes sense. The pupil. And right here, I make the bottom round, but it should actually be a point. Now do the, other, the same thing on this side. And just try to make them the same size. The pupil is the same size as you guys see me doing there. And it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, if you guys notice. So now right here, we're just going to continue this shape to do this, uh, the blue part. And now it should like meet up in the middle, a little bit higher. It should go up and kind of end like at a point in the middle. It's kind of more, it's more round than anything, but yeah, I think it's more round, but for some reason, uh, when I was looking at the reference, it seemed like a point, so that's why I made it a little bit pointy. Alright, so now under that, we're going to do the nose and actually make it too big and too much to the left. Um, it should be a little bit smaller and more to the right. Not by much, but it is. Alright, so now we just do this line right here to connect it to the bottom around the same level as where the eye, um, as the eye. So if you guys, as I point out right there, it should basically be there. And now we could just do the, the whiskers, which go, go up to that leg on the other side. And it just meets up, guys, because if you guys notice the foot, um, it's uh, basically the same level as the head, so that's why it matches up right there. So now on this side, basically on the same level as the nose, as where the blue meets the nose. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, the other whisker should start basically at the bottom of the eye. And the whiskers, I think, is what gave me the most trouble. Um, the tips, for some reason, I couldn't get, I get them right. And I just do the lines right here. Right here, I make mine too, too straight. Um, it should start smaller as it gets closer to the head. And then it just like gets wider as it goes uh, to the ends. That's what I changed right here. It gets a wider as it, it goes further away. And right here, I make the ones on the, uh, the left whisker a little bit bigger. I do change that later on. So now we could just start doing this. So basically I just start one side and then I go to the other. And like I said, it gave me the most trouble um, doing this whiskers out of the whole drawing. I don't know why. It was just the, the ends. It just gave me uh, trouble. Usually it's the eyes, but this time it was the whiskers. Alright, so now we do that. Now we should be... I think I, right there I went too far. I mean too close to the middle. It shouldn't uh, go to the middle that far. And just do like a triangle shape in the middle. <laughs> it doesn't look good at all, I'm sorry. Alright, now on this side, I think this one, on this side I made it a little bit more wide. So it's just a little bit easier to, to do it. This one's, uh, yeah, it's way bigger than the other one. I don't know if I noticed that now or later on. I think I changed that once I do my final outline basically I just make uh, these whisker on this side a little bit longer and then the ones on the left a little bit shorter all right there we go and if you guys haven't seen my other tutorial of pop Leo make sure to go check it out I did it a, a few days ago I'm also gonna be doing uh, the, the other uh, starter uh, pretty soon so make sure to go check them out all right so now in the middle we're just going to do this triangle shapes right here which are basically going to be the the top of uh, his head like the hair and if you guys notice the one on the left is actually uh, pretty much following the ear the shape of the ear i do change that later on just try to make both of them the same size you know and basically half the size of the ear all right so now we're just going to do the inner ear and just make sure to do the same gap in between the inner ear and the outside of the ear on either side. And then it just goes down a little bit and it connects right here. Alright, but on this side, the one on the right right there, it, it gets uh, it's wider. 
Jeez. and then it gets thinner and then it just goes normal you know so uh, I don't know if you guys know what I mean and just follow that and just try to make sure that both of the inner ear shapes are the same size right there I point out it's wider right there uh, than uh, it is on top uh, just make sure that the inner ear both triangle shapes are basically the same size you know because basically they are um, right there I, I think that it's pretty close so I'm fine with that all right, so now we're here just gonna do the bottom of the foot and I think this is where I went wrong guys I actually made the bottom instead of the the line that we did being the bottom uh, That's I make that like the ankle and then I make it lower. So I think that's where I went wrong It's kind of like a shoe I do uh, change this a little a little bit later on and then this one basically goes down and it should be end up around there and now we can do the stripes and it might take you guys a little bit to do these stripes since the red stripes are basically the same thickness as the blue stripes like uh, the stripe in between the reds the red stripes is the same thickness as the red stripes I don't know if you guys know what I mean so let's say that's the shape right there where you start the other one it should be the same like size you know Right there, just erase those reference lines would be a little bit confusing. Uh, but we're pretty much done, guys. Uh, the only thing we have left is just to do the mouth, which is basically like a like a arrow almost. The left side being a little bit shorter, and then the bottom, uh, it's a little bit like not round. I guess it's round, but for some reason I kind of see it like it ends a little bit at a point. And that's why I do it on the reference. I do change that later on. It, it should be a little bit more round than I have it. Um, it makes a big difference having it round and having it uh, kind of pointy at the bottom. So just try to make it round. And also make the the sides of the head a little bit more round. If you guys see the way I have them now, um, they're too straight. So it kind of makes it look a lot different. Um, so I do round the sides of the head a little bit more uh, than I have it right now. Right now they're too straight. So I do work on that on my final sketch, on my final outline. So uh, yeah, guys. So man, now that, so now here's the final outline. I actually did in Sharpie. Um, it's basically the same sketch, but probably you guys can see right there the changes that I did make. Uh, for example, the one that you guys can notice uh, uh, right away is the tail. You see, look how high I made it before, and look how big I made it before. You know, it's a lot longer. Um, like I said, it should basically start curving uh, before the, the top of the ear. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and then also, like I said, I rounded the size of the face a little bit, although I don't think I got the the size of the the head uh, just right uh, but it still it still looks all right um, also work like I said on the stripes at the bottom of the legs and the whiskers the whiskers you know I try to make them a little bit more like the reference uh, but basically that's it guys and also the I work basically I just uh, did the out outline or the lines a little bit better I cleaned up the drawing um, and the way that I normally do it, do it is just by erasing the whole drawing and then just redrawing it because I can still see some of those lines you know they don't uh, erase 100% so I, I still see those lines uh, and I just make it a little bit better other people what they like to do is they just trace their their sketch and then they outline their final drawing and pen um, right there right here I used the sharpie I didn't use the pen so that's why it's a little bit more I don't know it kind of looks rough uh, now that I'm looking at it but uh but yeah I think it came out okay um like I said I did change the nose a little bit um and I basically I just worked a little bit on the ears and I just made them a little bit better um I rounded off the head a little bit more than I had it before and uh, yeah I did end up coloring it as you guys see here I used Prisma Premier color markers um and I don't think I have the right colors because on the reference it kind of looks like kind of like a dark bluish color you know like a, like a navy dark pale navy color um, and I use gray so I don't know it kind of looks way different than um, it should be I don't know if it should be black and it's just you know the 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 colors it kind of looks bluish but um, I made mine black and they kind of look way different you know if you compare them to each other and the head of the reference is a little bit more round than I have it uh, which is kind of bothering me now that I have them side by side uh, because when I'm doing my tutorials I have my tablet in front of me looking at the reference um, so it's really hard to uh, uh, see exactly you know the difference that um, 
that they have you know but once i'm i'm doing the voiceover and i'm looking them uh just like you guys have them side by side it kind of just i don't know I, I see all the things that i could have changed you know uh, but it doesn't matter guys um it doesn't have to be perfect you know i think we're pretty close and like i said i used grays for the body i used the darkest gray that i had and then i used just like a, cu a couple of shades uh, lighter for the rest of the body um then for the reds i just used the red like a regular red and then a, a darker red for the sh shadows and then for the yellow for the eyes i used like gold and then uh, normal yellow for the highlight and um and then for the ears the inner ear i used two different grays again like the lightest ones that i had um and basically that's it i just used the the a little bit darker gray for the for the shadows like always um and i think that's it guys so uh yeah so hopefully my tutorial was helpful uh once again please leave a like let me know what you guys thought on my tutorial and make sure to check out my other tutorials i have like over 100 tutorials now uh, so make sure to go check them out um we hit 2,000 subscribers yesterday as of this video so that's amazing you know 2,000 subscribers that's a lot so I just want to thank all of you guys especially all the all the old subscribers like Neo the, the one who do, who uh, drew the Viporeon in the beginning she's been uh, always like I don't know how should I say she's like always been a part of my videos because ever ever as far as I can remember, she's always left a comment. She's always like retweeted my uh, links that I post on Twitter. So she's always like been there, you know, for me. And I just want to thank you, Neil. You're awesome. Um, and all the new subscribers, you know, welcome to my channel. Um, like I said, you guys could always leave comments, let me know the next Pokemon that you guys want me to draw. Uh, but before you guys do, make sure to go check out the the tutorials that I have on my channel because I probably already drew it, you know. So. Um, uh, I also did like playlists that way it could be a little bit easier for you guys for example all the starters uh, Some megas that I did I think I have like 20 megas that I've done so far uh, Which in my opinion I think is the hardest ones to draw uh, So just remember you know that you could only uh, simplify drawing so much to make it easy for other people to draw um, Usually it's for younger people you know that it, it, they have a little bit harder time uh, drawing But it's just like some of the Pokemon are really hard like uh, for example the megas you know they have a lot more going on so they're a little bit more compl uh, complicated than for example the starters right here um, although later it's a little bit harder than Poplio. Um, I haven't done the third one so I'm, I'll, I'll try to do it soon so yeah I just want to thank you guys for watching remember to uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video leave any comments if you guys need any help make sure to leave a comment below and uh, yeah I guess I'll just catch you guys on my next video Team Rocket Draws out